your first name? Tyler Thomas. Tyler Thomas. Riley Thomas. Riley Thomas. Delilah Thomas. Yeah, boy, you look like a nice family here. Do you like this school? Mm-hmm. What do you like about this school? Everything. Ah, I love it. Delilah, you have a nice day, all right? Okay, bye-bye. The twin brothers and their sister, who admitted they fight a lot at home, agreed on one thing recently. It was great going back to school. Along with 129,000 other Prince George's youngsters, the Thomas siblings arrived at one of the county's 209 schools, toting lots of supplies, wearing big smiles, and yes, in some cases, shedding some tears. And if their backpacks could be believed, the children have turned into all manner of superheroes, princesses, and with his back covered in spines, at least one dinosaur. But obvious beyond all the bustle and pageantry of opening day was the lesson of what Prince George's schools are all about. For with so many dedicated long-serving employees and so many graduates still sending their children and grandchildren to the very schools they themselves once attended, Prince George's County is at its core one big family of learners. Like I said, we've had five grandkids through here and every one of them have, have really excelled and it's all because of the, the, the foundation that they got here at Woodmore. Starting out before dawn on what was a sparkling summer's day, 1,253 school buses, all lined up at bus lots like jets on a runway, were all getting, despite their flashing stop signs, the go signal to begin the new 2016-17 school year. Riding along with students and getting off a bus at Pointer Ridge Elementary in Bowie was CEO Kevin Maxwell, who was having none of being told he was too old to be on board a little old to be getting off this bus here and for elementary school. First day of school, Dr. Max. You're, never, you you're never too old to learn. That's true. You know, lifelong learning is a big deal. Yeah. So this is great. These kids are really excited talking about their favorite subjects. Young lady talking about math and science, young man about spelling. It's really great. They're in the swing already. Yeah. And what's the what's the headline for Prince George's schools this year? What are we what are we proud of? What are we talking about? We're we're proud of the preparation that we have in place. We're we're proud of the teaching and learning. Our teachers are so well prepared. We've got a great teaching corps. We had a bunch of really fantastic teachers this year. I got to meet a bunch of them at New Teacher Orientation. And I know I met with principals yesterday. They're excited about having the kids come back today. And I was with some students at Wise High School yesterday. They are really excited about the things they are going to do to be great by choice themselves this year. Excitement about the academic version of New Year's Day was contagious, as everyone, from county and school officials to parents to the children themselves, all exalted on the promise of day one and mostly breathed a sigh of relief that summer was finally over. Very excited to get the kids out of the house and get them in school. <laughs> it is a great time. I mean, it's a new beginning. It's a, a, a great chance to begin to, uh, again, uh, influence these young people, uh, to get them ready for uh, college and career. So it's an exciting time for the students, an exciting time for the principals and the teachers, So and for me, I just love it. First day of school. What are your feelings today? Really excited. This is yeah. the best day ever. I love seeing the building come alive with all the little ones and welcoming the new families. We have a lot of new families this year, so very excited. All these kids, it seems like you're bursting at the seams bursting here. Bursting at the seams, oh yes, God. and they keep coming in. Isn't it great? <laughs> are you have to be back in school? Yeah. Huh? Be yeah. happy and excited. Ooh, say that one more time. Happy and excited. I love it. In good spirits, as most everyone seemed to be, there was no masking those who were a bit apprehensive and feeling anonymous in new environments. But be they brand new kindergartners or high schoolers changing schools. So what's this like coming to a brand new place where you hardly know anybody? It's really weird. I mean, the people here are really helpful. The teachers, I mean, they show me where they at. Students show me where my class is at, so it's really not that stressful on me. 
but it's still like I don't know nobody. There was a support network ready and able to sustain them through any anxious days ahead. A network made up of compassionate teachers and generations of Prince Georgians, family members who have often walked the very same hallways. People like 21-year teaching veteran Tanya Marcel and Dion McDonald, whose third grade daughter is already comfortable with a school that suits her schedule. What do you like about this school? Um, I like lots of things. I like how, I like how we, I like how now we, we come here early and, and we leave here early. <laughs> I love the school. I mean, I think the teachers are great. I think that um, they go the extra mile with the kids and uh, my daughter has a good rapport with her teacher every year, so I love it. Yeah. Did you go to Prince George's schools? I did. I did all my life. Where'd you go? I went to uh, Valley View Elementary, then I went to Oxen Hill Middle and Crossland High. So this is a family tradition, a second generation. It is, it is. Yeah. How do you put these kindergartners at ease? Because you do it really well. Oh, thank you, Will. It comes with experience, and I shared that I also get a little nervous, too. So a lot of deep breaths. You've got a great smile, and I bet you use it a lot during the year. I'll have to, I'll have to, especially to get through the day. But my biggest thing is just that they all get on the right bus. <laughs> so. And even if students don't have familial or geographic connections to their schools, many Many of their teachers do, and those proud Prince George's pedigrees will help children feel right at home. This has been my dream, so I'm finally fulfilling it. Wow. Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Prince George's County. Actually, I attended Prince George's County schools. Did you? Which one? Yes. I, uh, Kingsford Elementary, Beltsville, um, Charles Herbert Flowers High School. So I've been, yeah. I mean, Kingsford is just up the road. Did you ever think that you'd be teaching right down the road? No, I didn't, but hey. <laughs> With so many talented educators doubling as cheerleaders and ego boosters, like Gwanda Adams at Woodmore Elementary. What is it about the first day of school that gets our juices flowing? It's exciting, oh, to see that our students from the prior year yeah. has advanced. They've advanced so much. Yeah. We love them dearly. Or Tracy Spivey White at Judy Hoyer Montessori School. You look beautiful and handsome. Hello, how you doing? Come on, <laughs> Or Sonia Serrano giving out Olympic-style gold medals to each and every student at P.E. Williams Spanish Immersion School. Or Suzanne Polanski, signing her approval and giving high fives to her hearing-impaired students at Andrew Jackson Academy. It is no wonder that so many parents continue to keep and transfer their children into the Prince George's County Public Schools. And the openness and transparency of the teachers, it almost feels like you're a part of the education process. So it starts here, you can continue at home, and there's no gaps in between. My kids actually moved over from Fairfax County to Prince George's County Schools. Usually it goes all the way around. And I've, I found that moving from Fairfax County to Prince George's County, they actually have learned more uh, last year. So That's a great endorsement. Yes. Yeah, we like to hear that. But perhaps the best endorsements for a school system that many have chosen for its greatness over the years were the family pictures being taken on opening day, the hugs being shared, the exuberance seen everywhere, often expressed in Spanish, Buenos dias. and best of all, the long lines of children streaming into schools. Children that with good luck, hard work, and family support will be in another line on the last day of school, which for many Prince George's families of learners will come all too soon. For TV 96, this is Dave Zarin.